Well, there's breaking sports news tonight on the Washington football team. It's been fined $10 million after the NFL's investigation into the team's culture. Darren Haynes is here to break down what that report found. Dee? Yeah, Leslie, the NFL says in a statement the Washington football team's workplace environment was highly unprofessional and toxic. The league notes a culture of bullying, intimidation, along with the accounts of sexual harassment from multiple women. Now, the $10 million fine that you mentioned, Leslie, will go to charity, and owner Dan Snyder will step away from the day-to-day -day operations, which the NFL says was voluntary. Now, despite interviewing 150 people, the league says there was not a written report from the findings of the investigation into the Washington football team's workplace culture. The findings were reported orally out of a uh, concern for sensitivity and confidentiality. However, the attorneys who represent 40 former Washington football team employees were not happy with the handling of this report, releasing a statement in part this is truly outrageous and it is a slap in the face to the hundreds of women and former employees who have who came forward in good faith and at great personal risk to report a culture of abuse at all levels of the team, including by Snyder himself. The NFL has effectively told survivors in this country and around the world that it does not care about them or credit their experiences. Now to put this report in perspective, Robert Mueller's report on the Ray Rice domestic violence investigation was 96 pages. Ted Wells Deflategate report was 243 pages. The report of the Washington football team's culture, zero pages, Leslie. Yeah, maybe um, zero official pages, but yeah. you could fill it up with mm -hmm. the accounts of people who have come forward to talk about what's happened. Quick follow up with you because just two days before this came out, Tanya Snyder was named mm -hmm. as a co CEO of the Washington football team. This was celebrated, lauded. But now we got to wonder, was this because they knew this report was about to come out? Uh, I, we don't know, but you can assume so because the Washington football team has been making changes for months now, knowing that this report was going to come out. And I try to look at things like a, a school, a university breaking NCAA rules. They try to have these self-imposed uh, infractions before the NCAA penalizes them. And, and this is kind of what we're seeing with the Washington football team. Mm -hmm. This is not the yeah. end for sure. All right, Dee, thanks. All right, here